Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover, or Mr. Douglas MacArthur Lover, but right now, his power. <laughs> With our victory in the Civil War, the question of Mac Daddy's status must be decided upon, although President MacArthur is legally the president according to the Presidential Succession Act. It was obvious to all in 1937 that Daddy Mac took power, <clears throat> not legally according to some. Many now wish for the generals to step down and hand power back over to the elected vice president of the 31st administration. Our lines within MacArthur's clique insist that the U.S. will fall back into the Civil War without him, however, while Republicans and some Democrats claim MacArthur would be a tyrant if he stayed. <coughs> so I asked you guys yesterday, do we, does he remain in power? Or does he give up his power? Now, I had to go back, actually. I, I got your polls, and actually, there's it's a two-to-one ratio for the way I asked you guys yesterday which one we should go with. But I, I went back, actually, on, the, on my channel here, and I figured out which one of the paths we did last time, which was back in, like, in April in 2020 at the time of this recording, which was quite a while ago. I didn't even realize I played as Mac Daddy before in Kaiserreich. But overall, there is quite a bit more support for... MacArthur giving up power. So I apologize if we, if you wanted, uh, you know, the American Caesar, and for him to remain like that. But he resigns as presidency, and democracy triumphs. Though the temptation towards autocracy was great, and it still is great. Hmm, yum yum. America stood with its thirty branches intact without giving up the executive authority. Congress is called into emergency session, and the appellate courts or appellate courts are dealing with a mound of paper trying to sort out the consequences. But we've begun reconstruction, regardless. A nation has suffered much before long, long before the war started. It is both a monumental task and opportunity to unify transportation networks and push through bolder economic ideas to elevate American industry by the ailing world. The provisional president. With democracy now restored to the country, a question remains: Who shall lead the country until the next election? MacArthur has picked a number of candidates who could serve in that role and submitted their names to Congress. And now the choice rests with them. Although their image among anti-MacArthurites has suffered by his association with his handover, Congress and General MacArthur hope that the country will be able to unite behind a lawful president, President Roosevelt. Moderate Democrats with McNary. McNair is the general, but hmm. Conservative Democrats. Wel President Welke. Uh, I see. Moderate Democrats. McNair. Market Libs. Military Junta. Conservative Democrats. Wendell Welke. He does have a lot of support. 33%. Honestly, that's pretty good for him. The Republicans. Where are the Republicans? He's 18. Quentin Roosevelt. I've never played for Quentin Roosevelt. I think I'll play him some other time. I want to go with the per person that has the most support here now. So I'll go with Wendell Welke. I don't. What does he look like? Smooth talking charmer. I guess I've played him before. We have quite a few comments to go through, and we might get MacArthur back again, but we'll see. So we begin reconstruction, which is nice. Restore legitimacy, defend democracy, and land of the free. Uh, destroy radicalism. That would be good to do, yeah. Home of the brave is not bad. Constitutional education, Bill of Rights reminder, American values. Well, let's go with land of the free just because we want to destroy radicalism first. The use of penal labor in the prisoner of war camps is no longer tolerable to Congress. Although the fate of these prisoners is still up to the court system, their exploitation in both the loyal and rebel states should be rolled back so we get some more critical population factor. We get some more stability, some more war support, and uh, division limit size, which right now we are on a whopping 13 out of 139, and we have a total of 13 divisions? That's not very good, no, is it? We do have two marine divisions, which are some thick daddy boys, but then we have their tank divisions and like 12 combat with them. God, that's so bad. It's already January 1941. I hope you're having a great year. Wendell Wilkie, he looks a bit shiny, a bit greasy, but that's all right. Um, honestly, the Anton's doing really well here. Or I know it's not the Anton, it's a Reich's Pact. They're doing really well against the Third International, which is, you know, fine with me, fine with me, whatever. The Belgrade Pox is doing okay as well, even though they're killing, oh, IMRO, ah, the Mac Macedonians. Cynicalist bombings. If you want to about cynicalist bombings, please go right ahead, as we are going to definitely try to put down uh, a lot of resistance here to make these guys cores. So uh, let's do Florida. I want to do Florida. Florida is a it's a special state. It's a very special state. The legation cities void the mandate. Well, they joined the Entente. Well, the open door policy of the cap peace in order between the ambitious Western nations of Japan and China has finally ended. With tensions of the world rising to the event of Europe and Asia, the inevitability of conflict arriving on the co Asian continent has led to the Gaetian cities uh, joining the Entente faction in a great break from the traditional non alignment of the cities. This places the treaty ports firmly in the Entente's sphere of influence, the legation mandate and did with the nations of the international alliances with withdrawing the troops ambassadors from the legation cities. Businesses have scrambled, as this effectively places the treaty, port treaty ports under the economic sphere of the Entente. While this marks an end of an era, this also may lead to unforeseen consequences, as now all bets are off, and legation seas are open to foreign aggression, or perhaps even demands from the Chinese. So much for that. 
Oh well, it's 1941. We gotta do some naval stuff. We gotta do some plane stuff. We gotta get New England back. We are going to murder the absolute heck out of the Entente. You know what? I hope they take back the British Isles because I'm going to destroy them. More bombings, huh? Bro, that sucks. The bombings suck. For suppressing resistance in Ohio, Florida, Maryland, New York, not bad. Couple comments up. Someone says we should conquer Canada. Oh, oh yes. Oh, we are going to conquer Canada hard. I'm going to make sure they pay for everything that they've done here. We are going to obliterate the Entente. Like, there's things, some things that happen. Camps get set up. We're going to destroy Canada. They will be basically an American colony at this point. Like, they will be an American colony because I hate Canada right now so much. An Atlantic Trade Commission. The Irish government has proposed an Atlantic Trade Commission to oversee our trading in the Atlantic Ocean. Our country's relations with Ireland have warmed recently. Many support this idea. Why not just keep things as they are? Of course, give more political power. Daily political power. Wow, daily political power, not bad. Yeah, heck yeah. No, uh, I do that part of Pittsburgh and New Jersey. Oh, no, that's New York City. That's fine. I'm not sure that's worth doing, but let's keep doing it for now anyways. A Sunset Division, that's fine. Just go ahead and just... When you are created, just go ahead and just deploy to this group here. Totally fine. Crap, now we got to deal with that one division that escaped us, I think. No? No? Oh, we're good. We're good. Nice, we're good. Yeah, after the land of the free, we'll probably do restore, destroy radicalism, just so we can get that done as fast as possible. The Red Scare. Since the election of Wendell Wilkie, the government of the U.S. has begun a campaign against socialists of all stripes. They were one of the main instigators of the Civil War, and as such, all Americans must understand their role. Moreover, socialists and syndicalists must not now allow their subversion to survive, and as such, the so-called Red Scare begins. Many are being forced out of jobs and are being blacklisted. Better dead than red, but destroy radicalism. While the U.S. government tolerates political discourse, Congress has rallied against the syndicalists and distributionist platforms of Long and Reed. Legal bodies found to be advocating for the trade unions or mutualist organizations will be prosecuted under the 1917 Sedition Act. As they should be. Oh, prosecute the heck out of them, man. The living heck out of them. Cool, yeah. If we need to train more, that's totally fine. Uh, I want to build up our civvies and millies more. So, yeah, we're not looking too great in a lot of these areas here. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Missouri, why not? Cool. Destroy radicalism. That'd be good. I would like to get the constitutional education as well. Conservatism is fine. Back in business. It's 56 day focus. Well, wow. let's do this one. It's 42 day. An extra research slot will help us out immediately. A common talking point about radicals and populists was the idea that the federal government is a voluntary organization. Oh, look at that. Some even claim to use ridiculous false loopholes like naval law or the rights to secede from the Union. We must correct this by making the U.S. Constitution as widely available as possible. So what does this do? Help repel resistance? Yeah. Reclaim the canal. Reclaim the England. The longest aren't doing anything here. It's all just a syndicalist. Reclaim Hawaii. Move the capital back to D.C. Meh. Yeah, we'll put some resistance down. Just keep spending, I guess, for now. It's fine. Just keep putting him down. Put him down. When in doubt, what do you do with... Traitors to America, you put them down, you put them down. And when you and they don't want to listen to you, you violently put them down. Oh, there's the longest bombing, finally. At least they have the gumption to do something now. Uh, keep them on here, keep it on here. Go lower by three, maybe. How many guns do we have? We have 33,000 guns, that's pretty good. Obviously, we want more divisions, but we can share the love a little bit more. Yeah, and war bombers, naval bombers, light tanks. Yeah, that's not looking great. One is fine there, that's fine. Medium tanks eventually, totally fine. But yeah, constitutional reform would be nice. I might just do some funky stuff off screen. Oh, well, just because it's getting pretty laggy. Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. The famous aviator Amelia Earhart, known to many as the Queen of the Air, has completed a flight around the world together from uh, with her navy navigator Fred Noonan. After a brief scare when the pair temporarily got lost while approaching Howard Howland Island in the Pacific, the flight proceeded without incident, and this morning their Lockheed Electra touched down in Oakland, California. A ceremony is to be held in the White House next week, where Earhart is to be personally congratulated for her feat by the President. Quite an achievement. Nuclear stuff. Oh, yes, please. It is 41. Let's grab some more construction speed. That'd be good, too. So we got one thing on ships. This is why we need another research slot, just in case. Um, cru cruiser holds. We don't really care. Up or down Ohio and Maryland. Don't really care. Georgia. Georgia. Sweet Georgia. Protect the Dominion of Canada. To hell with that. Yeah, they can go burn. And they will burn. They will burn. They, they're... Mm. Mo the monarchy? Yeah, not in our campaign. We're definitely not going to support them. Heavy tanks? Yeah, we're not going to use heavy tanks. I don't want to see that. Anti-tank? We're not going to really use anti-tank. We're going to hopefully get more planes to do enough damage to them. Medium tanks are fine. Uh, anything here we really care about too much? No. Destroy radicalism. Constitutional education, please. So now we need more PP. So we can fight the terrors. Terrorists. We don't like them terrorists. 
get 0.56 every single day. Kind of sucks. We need more. But that's okay. Oh, we're in civilian education too. Or civilian pop, uh, economy. Malice and charity. For the people. Loyalty to America. Forward observers. Nice. Almost done with our land auction too, which is pretty good as well. Suppress resistance. We can wait for that. I kind of do want, want to do back in business. for sort of legitimacy. Build rights to remember. Getting extra political power now will be pretty darn beneficial. Rebuilding agricultural industry. Rebuild American roads. Rebuild railways. Um, this stuff is nice and all. Trials concerning the companies that support rebels and trader shop again. Oil protection. Fall affairs. Oh boy. Take the fight abroad. Bonus for land auction. Begin the trials against traders. Jones who join the other factions in the war. GI bills ain't too bad. There goes common France. Resource efficiency gain. Yeah, we can save the last land auction for later, probably. Increased military spending. New tank associations. Or tank assemblies, I should say. Tank assemblies, that's fine. Now, these ships ain't going to be great, because we don't have the cannons yet for them. But at least we got better anti-air already. That's good. And better engines, yeah. And better armor. Armor is at least a little bit important, is it not? Uh, yeah, level 2 stuff is okay. Secondary, 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 secondaries. Honestly, level 2 batteries are generally just good enough, so... And we'll get rid of you, Iowa class. Thank you for playing, Iowa class. Oh, it's a Dreadnought hole. We don't want the Dreadnought. We want the, a more recent, this one. Panama asked for investment. Panama has asked for us a generous sum of investment money, promising with profit within a year. There's an obvious benefit to this, but our economy isn't perfect at the moment. Let's invest. You took... Oh, are, we, are you in the Entente? Oh, they're not in the Entente. Uh, Let's see what happens. We'll play a game with them. If it does well, great. If it doesn't, whatever. We're here to play games. Do you want to play a game? Of course we do. It's weird to do. That's what we're playing Hoi 4. Cool. Investing. Syndicalist bombings. God dang, Cindy's. Recovering from the Civil War is pretty darn bad. And then Irish trade... Irish American trade is very nice. Reconstruction. Build up them civvies. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Minus 15%. I mean, it's still not great, but... Still build this up pretty darn quickly. Not bad. Just because we are missing so many military factors, it's not even funny. Cards available the second is dead. Well, goodbye. Let me do that. Cool. Constitutional education. Uh, which one did I say we were going to do next? Defend democracy? Hmm. For the people. Home of the brave. Malice and charity. Adaption of the M1 helmet. We're going to read about that in a little bit. Uh... American Industrial Mice, pretty good too. Oh, loyalty to America, political power. We could use a political power. People of America as a collective are our constituents in our lifeblood. A holiday and thanks to the American people has been passed through Congress to make the former Labor Day into the American People's Day and thanks in, in order to surpass the patriotism of the labor movement. Adaption of the M1 helmet. I figured this one before, so if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. I'm glad we got rid of the Brodies finally. New kid named Brody once, huh? Nice, not bad. Interwar bombers, naval bombers, light tanks, and fight them goddamn social scum. And then we'll fight the goddamn terrorist longest scum. A loyalty to America would be pretty nice, though. More perfect union. Nice. Syndicalist like bombings is exactly why we try to kill them off. It does take a while to get back into the fray. Boulder Dam completed. If you want to know about that, please go ahead. I've read that. I've done this one before. On behalf of the nation to say to you, well done. What's the next election, actually? Hold on. 42. January 42. Oh, wow. Climb belt cruiser armor scheme. Get some more heavy bombing. Bombing suck, man. Um, take the fight abroad would not be too bad. <clears throat> Bait of the unions, huh? Getting that political power would be pretty good too, and a lot more stability. Restoring legitimacy. The numerous embassies we were not able to staff during the crisis finally received relief. We shall reestablish ourselves in the world community as a stronger, more unified nation with an expanded diplomatic core. Restore our legitimacy. Building up infrastructure is not bad, too, but we're going to need some more civvies than just that. There you go. A little better. A little, little, little better. Can we actually go here? Oh, we can go to early mobilization. That would be very nice, actually. But yeah, we got... We have a lot of things to build first. We made quite a few more divisions, though, which is pretty darn nice. Fourth of July. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Ense petit placidum. Sub libertat quietum. God dang, these bombings happen all the flipping time. Jesus Christ. Resistance growth speed goes down, so this one says re suppress resistance. So right now, we got a lot of the American cord. Not Illinois. 
Where are we at for this stuff? 37% is pretty bad. Yeah, we're getting there, though. Actually, actually... Ah, I thought we could go to local autonomy. That'd be good. Uh, so we're using the cavalry divisions for this. We'll probably throw on some military police. We don't have it. Okay. We don't have any military police. Ah, 53 or something. Actually, since we're here, uh, we're gonna better planes there. Get some better tactical bombers, because I don't know. I, I like using tactical bombers, a mixture of both, just because uh, with the range, I'm thinking about the range of tactical bombers versus casts. Oh, oh, nice. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just can we move on over to yeah? Let's go to early mobilization. That'd be good. And if we want to suppress some stuff, Union of is gone. We'll probably do this in Illinois. Just keep putting them down. And look at all that lag. Oh my goodness. Ah, they're releasing probably Francis Buffett. Almost one a day. That's pretty good. There we go. Nice. Oh my gosh. Why? Wait, the French Republic doesn't have cores in France. Uh, what is wrong with Italy? Oh my gosh. I guess they're technically still fighting, but oh my gosh, that is ugly. That is disgusting. Hey, Serbia actually won. Look at that. Serbia, uh, you have a really tough time against the United States or Austria. I would love to play Austria again. Oh, did they get more territory down there? Huh. I just wish I got an updated focus tree because I've, I've done it before. The 41 primary, a Republican primary. The Republican Party primary is here for 1941. This year has been a heated contest between previous candidates Alf Landon, Quentin Roosevelt, and the infamous General Douglas MacArthur for the Republican presidential nomination. Wait, I thought... One of the comments you guys said was that they thought make MacArthur the Democratic Party nominee. I thought he was... Oh. Uh, oh. My finger slipped. Lavender scare. This was so-called red scare into the way. Wendell Wilkie's passed Executive Order 10450. <coughs> that broadened the definition of a national security risk. Include any criminal, infamous, dishonest, immoral, or notoriously disgraceful conduct. Habitual use of intoxicants to excess. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, <clears throat> drug addiction or sexual perversion. This has led to the firing of over 5,000 federal employees who are accused of being homosexuals. The press has mostly approved of this measure, although a few tabloids claim we are preaching hypocrisy. One of the chief prosecutors, J FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover, has long been rumored to be in the closet with the Secretary Clyde Tolson. As Director of the most important intelligence agency, however, Hoover is, of course, beyond investigation. Well, even if we were to. J. Edgar Hoover probably has much more dirt on us than we have whatever him. Let's not investigate him. The 41 Democratic primary. There are a number of men who are running to be this year's Democratic Party candidate for the presidency, and the main contenders are being lawyer and CEO Wendell Wilkie, former Speaker of the House John Ans Garner, and Senator Harry F. Burt. Who will the delegates pick? Wendell Wilkie, because he's already the incumbent. 39 PP? Well, i got to wait for that. Um, restore order? We need more compliance and stuff like that, so that's fine. We'll do that there. Let's do Ohio and Pennsylvania. We'll focus on these two for now. And I get up as high as possible because we're pretty good here. And putting resistance down is slowly getting there. It's just the game is so laggy. I wish you could just like unite all of South America into one nation or something like that. And it has no focus tree, has no divisions, something like that. That'd be so nice. But after restoring legitimacy, like we said earlier, we're going to go ahead and do back in business. Wait, what are we going to do? Adna R. Chaffee dies. After months of struggle in the hospital, Major General Adna R. Chaffee has unfortunately passed away due to cancer. Considered by many as a father of American Armored Corps, the mentor of many. Tank crews and officers, and one of the main reformers of the U.S. Army, <clears throat> or Armored Corps, really. The mentor of many tank, oh yeah, taking the has taken most of the high command by surprise. Luckily, he had laid out his plans of high command clearly, so while his death is a strategic turn of events, it won't hinder army reforms. Her expertise will be missed nonetheless. Home of the brave, mouse and charity. I forget which one we're going to do. Uh, Blood America's Industries. I forget which one. American Values. Might as well. The passive promotion of civil government through his high-minded publications was undercut sharply by pamphlets and private publishers that promoted an uncivil government. Congress has decided that a multifaceted approach to instilling American values through mass media with filing to cut pamphleteers. French exiles return. Well, they sort of did. France is back. Not really, though. Because they don't even have cores in their own territory, which is... You know, it's Kaiserreich. As we established in the last episode, things aren't working perfectly as they probably should be. Oh, we haven't done that city. Yeah, I'll probably do Fleet B. Why not? Because we can. Reunite. Move the capital back to D.C. That'd be pretty good to do. Looking pretty good. I want to save some PP here, just in case, because we need to fight the socialist guys. Uh, can't go to partial mobilization. We need more war support, which it, we're at 24%. We're actually really, 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 really darn close. God dang it, St. Nicholas Peace is garbage. What a bunch of doo-doo suckers. We can move back to the capital, but I'm not sure what that would really give us. 
Denver is okay for now. After American Values, though, Bill of Rights to remind. Bill of Rights to reminder. Stability Wars, but yeah, let's go with that one. Building off a constitutional education initiative, Congress has approved of an education to push to younger Americans on the importance of our Bill of Rights. This would also allow citizens to better appeal for their rights as in a non-violent matter. Fight them social scum. Yeah, so to core this, we need like less than 10% resistance, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Proof that battery, very nice, less than 10%. Yeah, definitely want to make sure that the Navy's all good and done and stuff like that. Um, anything else here? Uh, carriers would be nice. Get some better advanced cruisers, too. Yeah, two's okay. Dreadnought holes. We're going to wait to maybe build them up bigger. We'll see. There we go. Now we can go to partial mobilization. That's what we like to see. Build, build, build. And when you're done, build some mole. Why does Ohio have so much radar? Yeah, build some radar here, and since we're still rebuilding, technically, just build up 100% Montana. We love Montana. I've been to Montana once. It's a nice place. Very, very, very nice place, actually. I'd love to go back someday. USMC, very, very nice. Any other ships? Oh, it's improved cruiser hull. Oh, it's a capital ship too. Oh, how are we making these? How are we making these ships? Yeah. Huh. All right. Whatever. Got about a week left for that. that ain't too bad. American values gives more consumer goods. Production efficiency cap. But efficiency growth. So with this in mind, the Rock Spatter is actually one. Now, the Moscow Corps hasn't really fought them yet. The Zeta Clique is do be looking pretty nice. Bill of Rights Reminder, of course, as well. The Entente in India. The United Provinces of China. Syndicalist bombings need to go burn and burn and burn. But, Bill of Rights Reminder. Sure, political stability wouldn't be too bad. Strengthening democracy. Protect democracy. Sure, political democracy. It's not bad. More stability in war sport. We could do that. I'm going to save this for later. So, let's come back over here. That's looking pretty good, honestly. We've got enough of that. We might as well do some air doctrine. I'm sure political stability. Although it was opposed by some of the legislatures, the use of the FCC to monitor the airwaves against rebel radio stations is, of course, necessary. This measure, along with several other forms of censorship, are still necessary to end rebel pockets within the contiguous U.S. of A. And then after that one, we'll probably do Home of the Brave. That's not bad. Loyalty to America. Let's do Home of the Brave. The veterans of the Second Civil War have sacrificed it all to preserve their home. If only they didn't have to fight. Other Americans, despite protests from the House, the Senate has wisely extended veterans' benefits to the rebel soldiers, so long as the recipient reaffirmed their oath to all the American people. The 1942 presidential election. Uh, the election's here. Who shall become the President of the United States? Uh, let's see. Oh, the modern Democrats becomes the ruling party. The Social Conservatives join the coalition. The Republican Party we get Social Liberalism. Hmm. Now, who's leading Conservative Democrats? Well, into Wilkie. 50% is pretty good. Republicans. Oh, I'm finger slip. Oh. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm going to keep his thumbnail, his military uniform on there instead of, uh, this one. I hope he puts his glasses back on. Um, okay, division over big bins of support. It's known by most Democrats that elect, uh, economic reforms necessary to preserve American integrity. To this end, Democrats differ on the agency the government must take towards existing industries that are ailing. I propose civil works program to electrify the Southwest using hydroelectric power hit a snag as Democrats cannot agree on the role of the public works in the marketplace. The works will not be able to undercut private electricity companies because they will be too able to cross state borders and build dams on public land. Conservative Democrats oppose such intrusions as these, saying that it violates states' rights to govern trade. More liberal-minded Democrats hold fast that the necessity and potential of public works outweigh the risks. Liberal Democrats, conservative Democrats, well... We'll go with the market de Democrats for now. And right now, I didn't realize we couldn't do ensure political stability because we got to defend democracy first. Out of the former rebel states, supports come in of voter intimidation based on class and race. Candidates running for office without an oath of allegiance to the U.S. of A. We must protect the people's right to vote, and politicians do not set rebellions again. Go cool. I'm still trying to destroy these guys. Oh, look at this. Republican pol positions or policies. Has a number of laws and policies to strive to pass. Support energy companies. Oh, we get more aluminum. Well... We actually do have enough rubber. Look at that. We are importing a wee bit of chromium. Uh, aluminum is pretty good already, though. National Health Care Act. National Highway Act. Would... I guess MacArthur would be a social liberal, then? If we did do the democratic path and step down? Oh, look at that. Oh, there's that option. Yeah. We could just do resistance stuff, but that we don't really... Literally don't need to do that with suppressing a lot of this other stuff. How bad is New York City right now, actually? They are at... Oh, that's pretty bad. I also did uh, Kentucky, so we should be able to core them. Actually, right now. Yeah, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else? Uh, we did Florida earlier as well. 15% ain't too bad. 17. Oh, South Carolina, North Carolina, 16. Tennessee's 14. 14 is not bad either. Oh, we cored 
Not go. That's uh, we can do. Tennessee at 14 is not too bad. Put down a lot of resistance in Tennessee and fight the longest god dang rebels. Rebel scum, you know, scum suckers. We don't like scum suckers. Death charge mortars, pretty nice, pretty nice. Get some sonar, get some battle fleet concentration. Thank you very much. As we're hopefully training, training, training more of our ships. Now at this point, we might as well go ahead and try to get another fleet here because this is looking pretty thick as, as is already. I defend democracy and of course assure political stability for more stability, more support. Yes, please. Oh, wait, what? Oh wow, look at the German Empire. They're really going for the Union of Britain, huh? Did you guys go to war with someone else? Entente, maybe? I don't know. Oh, we have another Marine Division? Nice. Keep doing a good job, guys. Great, great, great. Get some more armor. Oh yeah, we're doing quite well with a lot of stuff here. Even some anti-air. We got some medium tanks too. Nice. Very good. Um, that being said, we need a couple more of these guys, a couple more of these guys. We need a lot of fighters. Lots and lots of fighters. Los Angeles bombing stuff, though. Um, not seeing... Oh, yes. Ohio, yes. Resistance don't care. Uh, Louisiana. That's already a core of ours, isn't it? So... Restore order? Oh, maybe... Is this separate? Oh, it is separate. Okay. Louisiana, the main part of Louisiana is already separate. You guys are 37%. Where are we for resistance? 13%. That's my point. Oh, George. Oh, Georgia. Virginia's not bad. Yeah, we can do Virginia, maybe. Virginia and Tennessee are going to be the two ones we really kind of focus on here. So that'd be fine. We just lost some more manpower because we're doing stuff here. We're going to ensure political stability. Loyalty to America would be very good. And now we get some more social liberalism support, which would be very good for us as well. We'll rebuild we'll ourselves as time goes on. We could do back in business. I just really want for us to focus pretty much just on America right now, though. Now, loyalty to America. The early 30s was the era of loyalty to men over ideals. Reed, Long, and even MacArthur accrued a lot of sort of clique of allies that saw their leaders as above the law. Several congressmen have come out to apologize for the statements made during the war. And that means they're weak. Weak is all heck. Let's get some better guns. Because if it's America, America gonna need a lot of good guns. Well, let's get some, uh, get on scare house. And maybe some subs. Subs can be pretty darn good as well, so. Nice. The Mitchell class? Yes, please. Oh, so what do we have here? Oh. Um, oh, okay. Y'all naval bombers, huh? It's alright with me. Uh, Y'all go there. Y'all, we could train them, but I don't really feel like it. Uh, boom, boom. Half you guys go right there. That's fine, just in case in the future, you never know. And half you guys go down here and do that. That's fine, whatever. There you go, do that too. Are we just sitting for repairs? No, sure, political stability, very nice. And loyalty to America. America. Strength and democracy. I don't know about that. Malice and charity. Back in business. That's going to take a long booty time. Protect democracy. Yeah, that's okay. Oil production ain't too bad. Syndicalist bombing suck. Oil production. America roads. Rebuild American industry. Business subsidies wouldn't be too bad. Fate of the unions. Industrial might would be pretty nice to do. Economic stuff. Maritime stuff. All you get is factors. And we can remove reconstruction. Which honestly... Reconstruction is not bad. Economic devastation from the Civil War is pretty bad, but Reconstruction in itself ain't too bad. Yeah, social resistance is pretty bad, though. Long resistance, yeah. Oh, there it is. Factory repair speeds are actually really good. Hurts are military factory construction speed, but getting more civvies? Pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. Pretty darn decent. There you go. So after loyalty to America... Let's go back in business, maybe. The nation has seen some troubles which many cannot act as an international power, uh, not as it deserves to be. But now that has changed. America is ready to re-enter the world stage. Oh, you bet it is. Get a snorkel because you can. We like snorkels here. Uh, put down resistance. Because we're not coring that yet. Uh, we do want to do New York City. Oh, yes. Tennessee's good. Tennessee is good to go. Ah, oh, Virginia is as well. Nice. Get some new yak. Anywhere else here? Nolens. Uh, might as well do Washington. I don't want to make it a capital before we can get here. Oh, whoops. I could have put down more socialist terrors. My bad. We'll do Republican policies later on. We'll see. But yeah, this is not looking too bad. We got plenty of artillery, fighters. We should probably focus a little bit more on tanks. I would like more tanks. Oh, actually, I would like a lot of tanks. We can make some. Why are we making heavy fighters? I don't. I don't want heavy fighters. No. Not for this campaign. Maybe another campaign, but not right now. As you can tell, we're making America big boy. Thickness, heaviness, loveliness. Ah, we'll get to this started too. Cool. Office of Strategic Services. So, another comment that I'll probably read a lot of in the next episode. 
What do you think would be a good name? Should we go with the federal... I guess not federal Bureau of Investigation. That's more of the internal stuff. But the CIA, would that be good? Or maybe MacArthur's uh, Lovely Boys? MLB? <laughs> MLB, MacArthur's Lovely Boys. Yeah, probably not. But let me know, what should be a good intelligence agency name? The one with the most upvotes, I'll probably select. I'll pro most likely select. So let me know in the comments below. Which one do you like the most that is, that is currently in the comments collection? That selection's at 46. Nice. And after that one, what's the in democracy? Eh. Yeah, because I, I know I did this route. Like, I literally looked it up, and I did did do the American Legion before, and I did the American Caesar, which I want to do again, but it is what it is, you know. Military research, that's not bad. Research stuff, women stuff. Kind of can ignore it, though. Mass and charity, strength and democracy. During the Civil War, democratic processes were halted at the local level. Many elections in the border areas were skipped in order to focus more on the ex existential crisis of the war for America. Democracy shall now rise from the ashes, and Congress has appointed a committee to ensure elections take place. At the local level, of course, once more. And then we're going to fight some god dang longest terrorists. Scumbags, suckers. Uh, oh, West Virginia, without anyone else having to do anything? Nice. Oh, Mississippi. We love Mississippi. Well, thank God Mississippi is exists. I've heard that's a joke. From a lot of Alabamans, so. Alright, so anything else here? Resistance wise, it's not too bad. We're just coring the rest of America. Just doing American things here. Uh, let's go to this map mode. Right, let's close out of this. Alright, so. Oh, 7% is pretty good. Off strategic services. Honestly, this game is running slightly faster than I thought it would be right now. Man, Craig. Not bad, not bad. Oh, the neighbor states have to be cores. Okay, so that's just, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, so we're going to work on that. We're working on this right, right now. We're working on this one, too. Uh, we're working on it. We're working, we're working on everything here. Uh, except for Baton Rouge. Maybe Baton Rouge could use a little bit of extra love. Yeah, could definitely use a little bit of extra love. It's going to correlate things a little bit faster. And they'll fight some goddamn terrorist scum. Terror scum have no place in this part of the world. And we will take out Mexico. We'll take out Mexico. We'll take out New England. We'll take out Canada, because we're going to burn that mother effort to the ground. Joe is definitely, like, this is interesting. They went through Scabba Flow. I mean, that's quite peculiar. Why is, why are you so bad? Oh, my gosh. Are you still fighting these guys? What's going on here? No, you're fighting the SRI and oh, those guys. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. More Marines? Nice. I'll say she probably pulled the Marines together. Follow me, Division. There you go. Put them all into this group. Nice. Better medium tanks. Is it only 42? Uh, oh, if it's 42, get some research speed. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Advanced carrier hulls. Very good. Grab some of that, too. Get some better carrier hulls. Thank you very much. Oh, it's some better cruiser hulls already. Oh, my bad. It's finally time to go on. we got plenty of stuff to do here. Dual purpose is so good. Radar 2s are fine. Radar anti-air 3 is much better. Rapid fire stuff. Light battery. No. We want the rapid fire. Cynicals. Bombings. Batteries. Yeah, there you go. That's good enough. Uh, aircraft, thank you very much. Level 2 is fine. Get some, yeah, anti-sub stuff. Level 3, though. Nice. There you go. That's good. 4th of July. If you wonder about that again, please go ahead. If you've already had one or two 4th of, July, 4th of Julys, but that's all right. You can always use another 4th of July. Strength and democracy. Yes, please. Donovan? Yes. Thank you, Donovan. All right. So now we can call you in Alabama and North Carolina. And Pittsburgh. Yeah, well, that's part of... I wouldn't call this Pittsburgh. I call this, like, most of Pennsylvania. This is just a Philadelphia territory. That makes more sense, but... Just all Pittsburgh? I don't think so. Automatic carbines. Thank you very much. We can have a lot of divisions. I want a lot of armor now for some reason. And get some SP artillery. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Georgia, yes, please. Uh, oh, yes, please. At this point, there's not really much else we really need to do here. Um... A head of intelligence would be pretty darn nice to have. Not super necessary. Capture manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. if you get deck size for bigger carriers. We like big carriers. We cannot lie like that. Yeah, we like them big. Oh, crap. I forgot about this. Oh, whatever. And we still have some more columns to go through as well, so. There you go. Since we're here, we might as well make some more dockyards, right? There. South. Southeast going to give us a lot of dockyards. 
as we watch these guys keep just killing each other. What is Russia up to? Why have they not fought the Germans yet? Who the heck is Krivia? Huh. That's Givgardia? Why can you not kill off the Germans? Or when will Germany go to war with the Russians? Independent Lufafa. Juan the Third. Hello, Juan. Long as bombings go, suck a fat one. And then anywhere core? No. No. Radio interception is pretty nice. Advanced repeater ship launchers? Nice, nice, nice. This stuff is really good to get to. Uh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good. Retreat chance, we'll get that later on. Fine, Ecuador is gone, thank God. No one likes Ecuador, just saying. Sorry if you're from Ecuador, but whatever. Let's get some mechanized as well. That'd be pretty good to get to. Russian state, we'll support them for now. And Rubar. Nice. It's fine, we can build the cities last. I, we just need more dockyards for now. Strengthening democracy is pretty good. Fate Electoral College. As we work to strengthen democracy following the Civil War, the question of the Electoral College has been brought up. Many are calling for us to end for the first pass of post voting for those state electors. This will be replaced by a more simple national popular voting system. A majority of Congress believes that we should keep the first pass of post system around as a safeguard against radicals in the future, which we do. Stays. We drop the popular vote. Oops! 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 Oh, it stays. We don't want to. We don't want to rock the boat too hard. We're social liberals, but we're not going to rock the boat too hard. We're rebuilding America's industry. America's exports have fallen during the depression, despite taking a lot of fair position on trade laws. Exports are also one of the main ways we measure economic activity. We must invest in the tertiary services of our industrial businesses, used in order to lower their bottom line and increase output. Sorry if you want me to get rid of the electoral college, but my finger slipped. Oh, second piece of honor. Look at that. Wait. Unable to gain a foothold on the British Isle. Wait. The German forces unable to gain an effective foothold on the island, and the British resolve shattered. What? No. What? They gave up so easily. Why? Why? They literally took Scotland. How? Why? In what world would you do that, Germany? Kaiser Wilhelm III will be forever known as a disgrace to everyone. Holy crap. That's so stupid. Why would you do that, man? You had him on the run. Uh, how, how bad is it in, in New York City? Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely gotta do that in New York City. How's it in Maryland? Maryland, yeah, fuck these god dang places. Claim Hawaii, reunite the New England. We're definitely building ourselves up quite a bit, which I love, love, love. Good New York City. Make sure we're doing well up here, too, and up here as well. Well, we've not paid a lot of attention to our divisions over here. That's still okay. Still all right. Um, how are we doing with tanks? We have 500 some extra tanks. It is 42. Experimental tank division. Well, that's what we have right now. These guys. Wow. Um, logistics. Armored recon. That'd be good. Engineers are just so good. You always have to get them. Support artillery is fine. Convert these guys. Honestly, I kind of just go straight mechanized if we can. But motorized for now is fine enough. You know what? I don't want to waste stuff on that. There you go. Uh, medium tanks. If anything, we throw on one motorized. That's fine. There you go. Turn combo with. There you go. Medium tanks are fine. We're going to use them a whole bunch anyway, so. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, good. Florida. Yes, too. Yes, 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 yes. Guantanamo Bay. No, nothing there. We'll kill off Cuba, maybe. We'll see what happens. We might actually invade the rights back. It depends on how far you guys want me to take this campaign, really. More perfect union, though? The goal of the U.S. as an independent nation is to form a more perfect union of the peoples of the U.S. Not the ex exaltation of a single doctrine or political movement is read or long claim. The president has spoken on irreductible complexity to the America's relationship to its people. And we should get rid of, uh, recovering from that there civil war. Economic devastation, of course. Uh, what is it down here? Recovering civil war, fading long resistance, get more stability, a lot more war support, too. Not bad. No, 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 no. Um, we could do that. Move the capital back. Well, I'm not going to move it back until it becomes okay with us. Uh, reclaim the cat. Oh, New England has to be gone. We're not really ready to fight the uh, Entente just yet, so give us a little bit more time. War propaganda would be pretty nice to do, though, but... Industrial concerns? Hmm. DuPont. Oh, wait. Some better logistics. We got some thick boys here. Anything else here? Anything else here? Uh, oh yeah. Support someone else this time. It's fine. 
I have intelligence. Oh, did we forget about this? Yes, we did. My bad. All right, public support, war support. Agency of Great Time, we're using it anyways, we might as well, right? So after more perfect union, uh, protect democracy. Nah, it's only 10% of that stuff. Fate of the unions. Let's do business subsidies just so we get some more civvies. And we can go to an American industrial might. Small businesses in America have struggled to expand their employment opportunities, which has contributed to unemployment. The issue of unsafe working conditions returning to prominence due to the need for faster production has led to agitated workers. Congress has approved of a federal purse to subsidize small businesses. Very nice. Let's help out the Turks just a wee bit. And let's give some love to the Empire of Brazil. Some small sub stuff, baby. Um, for two, for two. Not bad, not bad. I don't mind doing sub three. Sub threes are fine with me. Because they can do some really devastating damage. Uh, I almost never use uh, snorkels anymore. I've heard that they're not great to use. They're not bad, they're just not as beneficial as I've. At least that's what I've heard, so. Could be completely dead wrong. Let's see. Carrier three. No, carrier two is goodbye. Yeah, these are the bad boys we want. Get a little bit of armor on there. So you don't die immediately. Nice. Better anti-air. So you got secondary batteries. Get our engine threes. There you go. That's much better. Business subsidies. Yes, please. Follow it up with what? Oh, mechanized. I definitely said I want mechanized, so. Hey, now we can court. Now we can court. Great. And then we'll reclaim New England and stuff like that, too. And 100% is already pretty good. Uh, reclaim Hawaii. Economy of Hawaii demands reunion. Are they by themselves? We can, yeah, reclaim Hawaii. We try it in 30 days. Yeah, we might as well try it. Business subsidies followed up with uh, American Industrial Might. We do would like some more construction speed. The room may have temporarily reinvigorated heavy industry, but its design was temporary and facilities were essentially built on top of closed factories. We must bring our safety and management efficiencies to bear in order to make this upswing permanent. Barbara Hood? Thank you, Barbara. We love Barb here. Yeah, this army's taking forever to make. Oh, oh Hawaii joins! Today, a small garrison of American troops has landed in Pearl Harbor. Marched through Oahu, Oahu and, uh, and this into the city center of, of Honolulu. At noon, the commune of Hawaii flag on top of the Iolani Palace was lowered, and the United States flag was raised. The People's Council of Hawaii then gave a speech asking Hawaiians to celebrate the reunion between America and continental America. Excellente. Beautiful. Rebuild the Pacific States? Oh, yes, please. That was so much easier than I thought it would be. Oh, we got some divisions here. Hawaiian National Guard. Well, you ain't good enough. Sorry. But not really sorry. There, there you go. Head on back, boys and girls. See what y'all can do. Get some better of that stuff, and they'll go and get some nuclear stuff as well. Oh, I didn't see what we did there. My bad. Oh, you want more dockyards? I'm okay with that. Build some infrastructure up as well. Uh, civvies are fine. Millies would be nice, but civvies are fine too. Building fortresses are very good. Grab some of that too. Thank you very much. And awesome. Business subsidies followed up with American Industrial Might. Yeah. Well, the comment says, oh yeah, I did go Caesar last time. American Caesar joined the Germans. I could join the Reichsback maybe, but we don't. Wow. Don't really have to. Oh wow. Converted ship hulls. Oh, this must be the the uh, other group, Hawaiian group. Y'all are destroyers, which kind of suck. But whatever. We'll still use you. We'll still use you if you can be abused. We're gonna abuse you. Uh, can I say that? It's all right. One in doubt. Make sure no one finds out. Um. Um. Then, anyways, uh, reconstruction's over. Man, eh, no, that's not bad to get rid of. All right, let's, screw it. So we can't rebuild the Monroe Doctrine, which sucks. Has a non-socialist authoritarian government, which I would love to do. This treats the cooperation. Eh, new American appeals would be lovely to do. Pax Americana. Well, we get another fray, and we can join the Entente and American War Plan decisions. There are some democracy. The longer reach. On the beaches. We are we could be working with our allies. Send advisors to countries at war with their enemies, also providing military access to their soil if they needed. The American century. I don't know if I've actually I think I've done this one before. Enter the fray. Um I don't think I've ever done Fortress America. We lose war support. Focus on offense. Man the walls. Focus on offense goes way down, but we're not like this right now. Not for construction speed. Uh, plus 20%, twice 20%. Force America, less 20%, less 20%. More research speed, more construction speed. Peace at last. Um, 
A statehood for Alaska? Alaska's proposed to Congress being admitted to the U.S. as a state. Should Alaska be admitted as a state with all that entails, it should be remain as territory. Of course it will be a territory. Alright, so it's almost done. Um, honestly, I just have never done Fortress America. End of the fray would be nice. We don't technically have to join the Anton either. So, a long reach onto the beach, working with the allies. But I don't want allies. No. America's going to rule the world weather, you know, by himself. So, I want to do Fortress America. But we'll have Fortress America, just in case, to kill everyone else off. I like that type of America. Just kill everyone else off. Motorized, we're fine. Get some nuclear reactors going. That'd be nice. We love our nuclear reactors. Cool. War propaganda. Not bad. Um, yeah, I, let's do Fortress America, just because it's something I've never done before. America's been through heck, and the times not yet come for us have become embroiled, embroiled in foreign difficulties. <laughs> just you wait. When we look to our home, I'm sure it's, it is in order, and defend our walls should enemies come knocking at our doors. This doesn't make a lot of sense, maybe, with social liberalism, but hey, we'll see. We'll keep going. We'll keep on trucking. Uh, reclaim New England. Yeah. Is it? Is this a core now? It is a core now. We can go back to D.C. If we really want to. Just to say I've done it once. More uh, Marines? Yes, please. Very nice. Oh, the capital's back. Not sure if I really like it there, but whatever. Oh. Oh, now they're going to war with the, the Russians. There they go. Judith Robinson, I would love that, but Laura Wilson, you stole in my heart first. Fortress America, man the walls, how about you man the guns? Uh, protect democracy, economic investments, wouldn't be too bad. Maritime industry would be very good. We actually use that right now. The Merchant Marine was severely damaged in the war, and Congress has approved the extension of veterans' benefits to those active duty sailors who are not on tour if they become a Merchant Marine in their own time. I want some, we need some more air, uh, of these guys, I think. There you go, nice. Oh, Transmitter's going to war with them too, nice. Lots of advanced heavy hulls. Very good. Dreadnoughts, too, even. Strap bombers, just in case. Nice, nice, nice. And just in case, get another thing of uh, light cruisers. Heck, get some more subby babies. Of course, we could also use more military factories on carrier planes. So go four and four for now. We could definitely use those guys. Uh, since we're here. Well, exactly what I wanted. Just one, huh? Go, go and train those guys there. That's a lot of casts. Not nearly enough, but whatever. Bombers. We don't have a lot of plans, do we? We really don't. There you go. There you go. You can have one sign. There you go. You can shoot yourself. Whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. Less than 300,000 manpower. Fortress America. Very good. Comments com include Make MacArthur the Democratic Party nominee. Well, he's a Republican, apparently, in this campaign. Uh, someone says the Denver war plan is suicide. I'm not going to disagree with you there. It's pretty, pretty nutso. Actually, can we do this one? Not with England? We have to be at peace? No, we don't have to be at peace. Okay. Mexico? 130 days? Yeah, no, I might just use Cons Command. Maybe we'll see what happens. But I mean, then again, someone did say cheating is a bit oof. I would agree with you there. Cheating is a bit of sometimes. Not, I don't like cheating, but sometimes you just have to. Well, now we have four carriers there. Not bad. Could use a few more millies, though. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Nice. Good stuff. Cast. Oh, we could use, definitely use more cast, too. Yeah, put a cast a little bit further below for now. Because in the next episode, we're going to be expanding, hopefully, a lot. Oh, is Deontan still trying to kill them? You know what? I don't care. Let them suffer. Let them suffer. For what they put us through. Stupid Entente. But we're going to have a big navy. Get some more of this stuff. Cheer with Cuba, for now. Another comment is, do Kaiser Redux next time for the American Civil War? Hey, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm not opposed to that at all, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, totally. And someone says, try out the Western Command Center in Kaiser Redux. We could. I've not played them yet at the time of this recording, so I'd be interested in playing them. That sounds like a lot of fun. And cheating is a bit oof. Yeah, it's a big, big old oof. A big old beat oof. So. Another Sub Reno, baby. Yeah, please. What are you guys doing? 
I'll tell you guys to train, and then you don't train. Invisible Incarino? Nice. So just in case, you, me, and a lot of potentially dead Mexicans. So we gotta be ready for them. Good demand, New England. You know what? We could try to demand it. Then we be war with the Entente. Fortress America? Nice. Fall Beijing, Maritime Industry. Very good. Um, man, the walls. That's, that's a long time. Eh, we'll see what happens. Floating airfield's not bad, though. Yeah, we'll probably try to reunite with uh, New England first. Restru Reconstruction's over. Fate of the Unions, Malice and Charity. Man, the walls. You get more output, which I do like a lot, actually. The first step in our defense must be ensure our walls are well guarded. The walls should fear American military might, but only if they choose to engage with us. Well, they'll engage with us whether they like it or not. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, do that too. Do that too. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Relatively soon-ish. More chromium? Germany station? Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, you have 30... Why do you have 35 subs? There you go. Much better. Anything else here? Uh, Non-consolidated states. Well, they look pretty consolidated to me, at least. I could be wrong. Oh. Hello? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, hello. Wow. Yeah, the Germans are definitely doing a good old job against some Russian boys. Yeah. Wow. Uh. Wow. Oh, who's lagging super hard? Is it South America? It must be South America. And in fact, oh, Entente. Wow. Oh, these guys are fighting down here too. Oh, they didn't alien invade down in the Entente there. Middle Africa? Oh, still exists. Who is Ludwig Bokholt? Oh, how's Japan doing here? Government Cypher School. Very good, very, 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 very good. Maritime Ministry and, uh, yeah, man, the walls. Some of these focus take a while. Of course, we are building more divisions up and whatnot, but still. This is demand New England. The Canadian concern. Wow. Look, a new Canadian government is not a Canadian puppet. It would be false to suggest that it wasn't part of the British sphere, such as it is. And the great concern of the larger Canadian sphere. The Canadian government is willing to allow New England to renounce the new Entente of America, since the reason for Canada's intervention in the region ended with the Civil War. But they are asking that the USA join the Entente Alliance. This will make up for the New England's loss, and also be a way to pay back the Dominion of Canada for saving American lives. Saving American lives? What the hell are they talking about? We're fine with that request? To hell with them. No. Refuse. Refuse. I swear. You better refuse right now. Get ready to go, boys. Oh, God, you were lucky, Canada. The first from New England delivered the message promptly. They will gladly unite with America at once. The purpose of the provisional government to avoid the chaos of the Civil War is over with, and they look forward to being America whole once again. Oh, you better. You son of a rock sucker. I will destroy them all. Where do you think you're going, son? Deadeye. Huh. There you go. No, just, I don't even bother with them. There you go. Leslie Groves. Very nice. Any other Marines? No. There you go. There you go. Take one, go right there. There you go. Tank division. Where, where are the tank divisions here? Why are you all the way down there, son? America's reunited. At long last, America's been reunited. We stretch once again from sea to shining. See, the traits of the country have been destroyed, and the stars and stripes now fly proudly from coast to coast, knowing that liberty is secured for all. Unless you're Mexican. And we're going to come for you next. A more perfect union, my friends. Perfection. What, we don't get a six research slot? What? Maritime industry? Uh, which one are we gonna do? Man the walls, yeah, that's right. It's a 56 day focus, but that's all right. And reclaim the canal. You hand it over, you son of a crapper. It's fine, just do that. There you go. They return the canal. The Dominican Canada has returned the Panama Canal back to the U.S. of A. God bless America. 
Okay, I'll burn the Canadians regardless of how being nice they are, how nice they are right now. There you go. Government's up. School's nice. Even more. We're going to have a lot of cruiser holes here. It's fine with me. Keep making, keep making, keep making and baking. Just don't make too many babies. All right. Public rally, public sport. War sport, not bad. Exports. It's not very American. We're on limited exports. We don't extract very much, though, there. Are you kidding me, man? We just fixed this, didn't we? Dreadnoughts. Super heavy armor, dual purposes, better anti-air, secondary batteries are very, 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 very good to get. Um, go to another super heavy. No, no, I don't want to slow this down way too much. That's way too much slowness. It's fine. There you go. Oh, look at that. Nice. So, you go right there. You go right there. So, both of you can hang out over here. Mail and Craig. Half you guys are going to go and invade. You're going to be kind of crazy. You're going to invade from Houston. Vera Cruz. The other half. are going to come from Louisiana. Nolens. Invade down there. See what we can do about that. Do we have any sort of invader here? Oh, he's got a river guy, engineer. Lee as well. Mark Clark's not bad for us. Pretty good. Freed and all. Still will. Brooks. Let's go with Mark Bradley. It's fine with me. Engineer, I prefer commando, maybe for this, or invader, really. Eventually, though. Going train, train, train. Tejas, Gulf of Mexico. Ireland's joined the Reichs Pact. We're good for them. 900, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Duplicate him. Go and do that too. Follow it up with uh, some more casts. Might as well. And then... Any more fighters. Strategic bomber's not bad. Got a lot of scout planes. God dang. Uh, war propaganda? Why as well. Right, let's get rid of some of this garbage here. Seven, 800. Holy crap. Oh, we need more manpower too. Cast is good. This is looking much better than before. So much better than before. This is fine. Go do that. Naval bombers are fine. Not too worried about that. Uh, get a few more fighters. Go and do that too. Guns. Oh, we need way more guns, don't we? We can load that by five. Load that by three. Mechanites is fine. Um, I don't want to see this stuff. This is not really needed here. We got plenty of political power now, though. Sorry for the clicking. You need to raise conscription level, too, though. Hmm... There you go. There you go. Just convert them in all in the mediums. Not bad. Actually, since we're here, I forgot about this stuff again. Because we will be going to war soon. Nice. Oh, look at all this infrastructure I forgot to bring up. Whoopsie. It's alright. I wonder why we weren't building a lot of infrastructure. Because we weren't. Well, America's fully back, pretty much. Look at all those pixels. Oh, boy. Or the edges of the pixels. Rhode Island. You remember about Rhode Island? I don't remember Rhode Island. Alaska. Uh, all these places. We might invade Japan. We might not. I don't know. I don't like island hopping sometimes in some of my campaigns. If they attack us, then we probably will. But we'll see. Fourth of July again. We love Fourth of July. One of the best holidays in the world. Man them guns. Uh, business of neutrality. Neutrality has its benefit in that our enemies are few and thus our trading partners are plentiful. If America has built, rebuilt itself into a truly world power, we must do so on the back of the almighty American dollar. How much more, how much longer do we have to go to wait to, before we go to war with Mexico? 
Because they're on my thumbnail. Oh, three days. That's it. That's nice. Uh, looking inward. Never again should America face instability and the threat of uh, civil war. We must look inwards and deal with our internal troubles rather than gazing out to places America don't belong. Oh, please. Oh, please. Alright, oh, wow. See what happens, and then we'll immediately start probably just fighting these guys here too. Guaranteed by Cuba, Haiti, hmm, Grand Battle Fleet, that'd be nice to get, yeah. Carrier model, Do the next one too, I don't care. Nice. Hmm, there they are in the Reichs Pact, Haiti is not. Guaranteed, by, yeah, actually that's better. It'll take some time. We'll see. Yeah, do that because you can. Two more things, subs. Nice. I need y'all to come over here. Come back. You'll, you'll guard this area, and then the other fleet will go over there too. Nice. Yes. Should have Mexico a little bit sooner than that, but whatever. Add them too because you can. That'll be good. And then looking inward in the America leaps forward, that'd be nice. More research speed, more construction speed, all that good stuff. We're trying to make sure that we don't need to depend on rubber for, with anybody, so. I don't know, I see you. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, we can go through the canal, that makes sense, yeah. And where are we with this? You are taking forever. Holy crud. Holy fathers. Cologne? Yeah, don't lose Cologne, that would be really bad. Actually, do this too. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. There we go. And also, you guys are there too. Who are you? Heavy bombers? Hmm. Well, we'll see. We go to war by when? September 10th, not bad. Good to go? Cool. America has awoken and we are pissed off. Nice. That's a lot of red. Huh. Some of it's turning to green though. This period should be green soon enough. Launch a naval invasion. Sink everything they got. Nice. So Mexico is going to have to burn. But not as bad as Canada. Not as bad as Canada. We don't mind the Mexicans as much as we hate the Canadians with a burning passion. Well, we can't win immediately over here. We are losing quite a few guys. 44,000. Holy crap. That's quite a few guys. Mexico is going to pay. For what? I don't know. Just because. Literally just cause. Hey, we landed nice. And can we land the other group too? Yay! Nice. Now the Marine, great! Purge is gone. The Germans did go to war with them, so. While we're losing a lot of guys, I mean, they're still mobilizing. So I'm not really too worried about it. All right, everyone. So now the reason the game was the game was lagging really hard, and it was Russia that actually got destroyed pretty easily by the Transamur and the Germans. So, would you look at that? The Reichs back is looking pretty good. Now if we could have them kill off Dona Ejibund, the Union of Britain. Maybe I even have you know these guys kill each other off as well. That might be a uh, maybe a good thing to do. So we'll see what happens. But once again, we're out of manpower. But what else is new? You know, uh, probably cut down some divisions. That's fine with us. What do we have here? Not enough manpower. Whatever. Local autonomy is very good to get. Uh, we can desecrate the military. We're probably going to go to extensive conscription as well, just because we can honestly probably use it. So. Ah, oh, the fall of Mexico City. Very nice. Casualty wise, we, we killed off over half a million Mexicans now. Um, yeah. At this point, I think America's pretty much back. And we're ready to roll. We have Fortress America. 
but we're gonna make a burn. We've lost about 100,000 versus 700,000. You know, pretty good about it. Only 106 divisions, but it's all right. Sometimes you just need a good military, not a big one, a good one. I'm kind of surprised I haven't given it up yet, but we'll see. Have you guys come over here? Never mind. And we got Mexico. Awesome. Cool. And who else are we just flying on next? And now, actually, we've set up. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, Haiti. We'll take out Haiti in the next episode. Uh, this looks like the thumbnail, doesn't it? With except they're supposed to be MacArthur on the right side, but oh, well, we're looking inward. But America leaps forward. With our efforts to consolidate and our focus clear, together the U.S. can leap forward into the coming century. Well, ahead of the rest of the world. But if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna burn the living crap out of Canada and the Entente down. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous American rest of your day.